Yo, what's up guys? Chase the Bro here, and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. Today, we are a pure Thorn Sorcerer, centered around the two spells Briars of Sin, which is a slow casting AoE that has very high damage output. Also, three chains to the cast, so you can choose if you want to just use one and your opponent dodges out of it, or if they're going to try to trade into the second one, definitely go for the follow-up to get the higher damage. I also plan to use the Iron Jar Aromatic at times to try to trade with enemies that are being aggressive, so I feel like that could be pretty useful. And then we have the Briars of Punishment. Your long range spell has really high damage output. A little slow on the travel, but it has really good distance. I also have other spells as well to pressure the opponents. We have Glidstone Arc. I feel like this is useful against teams. Comes up pretty quickly. Has really good range. And then we have Carrion Slicer as our melee up close attack if our opponent is trying to stay close to us the entire time. And of course, Swift Glidstone Shard to finish off opponents and chip damage them as well. As for the stats and equipment for the build, we're going to be using two Staff of the Guilties as they boost your Thorn Sorcery's damage. They also cause your scaling of your sorceries to go off of your Faith, so we are running an 80 Faith build to that end. As for the armor, I have the Alberic's Pointed Hat, Robe, and Bracers because they all boost Thorn Sorcery damage, so you're going to want to use those as well. As for the Talismans, I have the Graven School and the Graven Mass Talisman to increase the potency of the sorceries. And then I have the Radigan Icon to increase the cast speed. And then I have the Stargazer Heirloom to give me the 5 intelligence I need to use the sorceries that have the higher int requirement. I couldn't really think of an extra Talisman that was really beneficial for the build, so I just went with this for the free levels. That about covers the build, let's just see how it performs in the invasions. Oh, the mountaintop of the giants with Journeyman. I'm ready. Don't take the trade, man! Oh! <laughs> oh, wait, why'd my, why did my bow not go? That is a rough trade. Ooh, he actually got hit by all three of those. I kind of expected him to maybe trade the second one. <laughs> but the third one. Ooh. Into the flame peak, and we have Bull Weevil. I don't know why, but that sounds like a Moonvale user. It's not, actually. It's a dual halberd user. And Alva, the teammate. Hello, Alva. How are you? Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Alva. Okay, okay, okay. Relax, relax. What are we doing here? Trying to hit me with a shield? What's the plan with that? I see the guy with the dual halberds. Whoa. I'm not aware of this being a dead end. <laughs> but apparently there's a mountain right behind me. So there's that. You know, I kind of want to try Iron Jar Aromatic. Just for fun. But at the same time... Interesting trade. <laughs> Poison arrow. That's funny. Whee. I was gonna say, you could definitely rotate that. Just give me a second, boys. Give me a second here. I don't know if they noticed me here, but... I put the wrong spell on. <laughs> oh, that still stuns me. After, like, a couple hits. Which is pretty funny. All right, there we go. Trade! Trade double! Trade triple, maybe? <laughs> okay, that worked out pretty well. Oh, that was the host! <laughs> this is when Iron Jar is useful. When you have two people that just rush you. Jamie the Witch! Okay, interesting. We know he has a summon then. I see a katana wielder. Hello there, sir. Are you the host? I think you are the host, from what I remember. It's a Rivers of Blood. Oh, man. That's amazing. Hey there, Rivers. Oh, my God. No way. <laughs> Get that away from me. That's hilarious, though. Okay, I'd rather not be standing near the host. We're going to go over here. Hi there. Um, I'm going to interrupt your thing entirely here. Sorry. That sounds not fun over there. Jamie the Witch. No, nope, nope, nope. Oh, actually, that ran me out of stamina, so apparently, yep. <laughs> That's hilarious. Jamie, do you have any HP at all? Jamie has a lot of stamina, though, I can tell you that much. Whoop. Slicer will finish Jamie, though. Hi there. Oh. Cool. Oh, I thought he'd actually continue to do the L2. He didn't. Okay, we're going to do this. Ch 
straight into it. Perfect. <laughs> oh man, it does so much damage. You just have to really get them to trade into it. You can land the first one though. The second follow-up though kind of revolves around them thinking they're going to poise you. Or outdo your damage. Weeping Peninsula. I actually don't get invasions here too often. Kind of a cool battleground though. A nice field. Um, unless they're by the giant getting shot by the arrows. I think they're close, though. Hey there. <laughs> I saw the compass disappear. Hello, man. A little madness beam for me. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna roll by that here. So we got Oh, it's like, okay. I like the build. I like Swore Spear is always a powerful choice. <laughs> Trade into the next one, too, please. Oh, the range is so deceptive, actually. I didn't even manage to do the quick cast there. <laughs> you got hit by the slow one all the same. Oh my god, I've invaded Radon. Well, at least I saw Radon. Daitengu is the host. Radon! Hey, Radon! Surprise! <laughs> Yes, we're on. Okay. Um. Oh, bad. Oh, you know what? Not the not the worst trade. That was a lot of damage on them, actually. <laughs> okay, we'll stay full health for this though. Well, we'll just scare him a little bit. There you go. So there's a little fear in his eyes. That's all we need. Hi there. I'm getting tea bagged. What have I done? I haven't even done anything rude. I feel like I don't deserve the teabag. Whoa. Pew. And a pew for you. Hello. Come here. Come closer to me. I will sword slice you. I will do that to you. Not the second half of the Radon attack, though? Why not? <laughs> I love how they're just patiently waiting it out. I could do that too, boys. I can easily dodge that. All right, I gotta find a way. You know, what if I went iron mode? I feel like they would. I don't know what they. I don't know what they do. They're kind of patient right now. I'll get them a little bit more annoyed at me. That might actually make them attack. Let's pester them a little. There. See, I'm pestering him enough. Maybe he'll actually make a move on me. The host, oh, he ran around but didn't end up actually doing anything with it. <laughs> hey there, man. <laughs> okay, you know, I, I feel like I'm going to do this just for fun. <laughs> I got the host with it. Oh man, the iron jar works so well on people that just want to like jump on you together. It's pretty funny. Oh, hello there guys. A team of three. Hello. I'm stuck on this rock. I was trying to walk at you. Oh wow, look, I'm also buffing. JK, mine's an attack. <laughs> Take my wave. He's kind of like Rivers of Blood. He's a bleed build. Okay, we'll do this. Okay, they seem to be on the hunt for me. But we will get them. There's a horsey here. Perfect. This will be the perfect distraction. <laughs> One down. That's all we need. A slight distraction. Okay. Um, I don't know if they're both going to do that again together. But maybe. It would be pretty funny if they actually allowed it. Take that into this. No, he was smart. Oh, he actually traded into it. I didn't think it would linger that long. We dodged that. Come into this. <laughs> Wave. This one's kind of good at roll catching people that roll backwards. It's pretty nice for that spell. Maybe you went to resummon the other teammate. Probably. Oh, that does some pretty good damage when they're not expecting it. 
was gonna say, maybe don't keep rolling in the same pattern. You'll actually like dodge it. I'd have to get you with a combo here. <laughs> nice. Okay, now he's gonna run away a little bit. This is gonna chip damage him though, so he doesn't really have a choice. Oh! I didn't see your hostie coming. <laughs> like at all. Okay, we're gonna chase him down with Carrion Slicer. He's playing around his hostie. Oh, the host gets stunned by that. That's a problem for him. <laughs> hey, the danger's not done there for you yet. There we go, sun bro down. <laughs> now we can get the combo on him. He's all alone. He gets stunned by the slicer. He's definitely gonna run. <laughs> Oop. Where are you going, Rob? It's just me and you, man. Two of them stun him, okay. <laughs> This is why you keep Glintstone charged, just to chase people down. Hello, Rob. Goodbye, Rob. <laughs> I'm here for it. That was actually pretty funny. I love when hosts run at the end of it. Oh my god, it's Journeyman! We invaded him earlier today. Journeyman, I'm coming! I have a teammate. Are we 2v2ing here? Alienator? Hello? Or alternator? Hello. We do battle alternator. Come on. Come on. What do you mean? Yeah. Yeah. We do battle. Haha. R2, huh? Okay. Let's go for this. Oh, it stunned me. I actually missed the quick cast timing. It's awkward when he's like kind of close to you. There you go. <laughs> oh, I wanted to trade that. I sadly did not. Good fight though, Alternator. The second follow-up one wasn't fast enough. <laughs> What's going on here? Journeyman. Whoa. He's double lancing up. Kind of fake him out, I guess, with the double lances. Oh, the true combo. Oh, he definitely blendered him. Oh, don't be pointing him down. He was trying his best. All right, journeyman. Let's go. Let's see how you do. Did I drink my physic? I did. You know what I'm going to do? This. Since he's an all physical build, I'm ready. I'm an all magic build, so there's that. I jumped your curved sword. Pretty anime-like, I might add. I don't think he's going to trade into that one this time. <laughs> I also have those pots. Mine missed though. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> it went over his head. Oh my god. That was actually hilarious. Ah, uh, the quick cast wasn't fast enough. Unfortunately. What about this? <laughs> I don't know if anybody expects that at all ever. <laughs> the slow attack. It actually works pretty well. Not gonna come in for the final one? Ah, uh, he's a little bit too aware now that I fought him with the build, you know? Now it's gonna be a lot more difficult to actually connect that. Fun fight though, Journeyman. It's the surprise of the Briars of Sin that gets people. Kek six. Oh, hello there. You're like a fellow wizard. Sort of. Hello there, Elden Lean. <laughs> Woo! A fellow wizard. No? <laughs> Not going in for the trades. The bow. Interesting. <laughs> oh, didn't mean to do the second one, but that could have costed me some health. Whoop, and I heal that. 
Hi. Oh, a red teammate. How beautiful. Okay, well, Elden Moon taking some serious damage there. Ah, oh, poor red. Couldn't handle the pressure of them for a second here. Uh, my, also, my glintstone wasn't really tracking well. <laughs> Sadly. We don't have to go for the wizard more. Get dodged, good sir. We're gonna fight by the ball now. Yes. Yes, indeed. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I don't know where the wizard went. This is good. This is a great distraction, though. <laughs> I've always wanted to lead a team here. Oh, what the heck? Wave of gold. I knew it would be their undoing. All right, those are all the invasions that I have for you guys for today with the Thorn Sorcerer. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Once again, there's my stats on the right, the armor that I wore, the talismans that I used throughout the showcase, and of course, keep recommending builds you'd like to see featured on the channel, and I'll get to them as soon as I can. I've been trying out all the different things that I haven't really used lately, so I've been enjoying it. Until the next video, though, this is goodbye. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye. Goodbye.